Good morning. It's with great pleasure that I welcome you to this year's Leadership Energy Summit organised by the ECLIF Leadership and Governance Centre. While I'm not able to be here in person, most certainly I'm here in the commitment to the Leadership Development Agenda and to this Leadership Energy Summit Asia. We are also most pleased to host this summit at Sasana Kijang. Let me also take this opportunity to express our gratitude to the distinguished speakers that have come from the different parts of the world to share with us the knowledge and experience on the subject of leadership energy. In this current and future environment, leadership has become even more important than ever before. The global economic and financial environment in this recent two decades has now become dramatically transformed to become more interconnected, more complex and more competitive. The world has also become more unstable and less predictable with frequent shocks and crises that requires for their effective management. These challenges transcends corporations, nations and cuts across industries, institutions and jurisdictions. Thriving and surviving in this world has demanded a new generation of leadership, forward-looking leaders that are able to succeed and bring their teams, organisation and countries to new successes, to new frontiers and having the ability to sustain such performance in this new and more challenging environment. A further phenomenon that has intensified the demand for a new generation of leadership is the trend towards the relentless pursuit of instant results and the attainment of short-term goals. Additionally, the complexities of the world has also had the unintended effect of blurring our lenses to focus on immediate challenges and problems. The scourge of short-termism has defined a world where success is measured by short-term results because the criteria for success and the incentive structures have promoted such behaviours. Such successes can, however, only be but fleeting. The world needs leaders who offer a compelling vision with ambitious goals where outcomes will genuinely add value and make a difference and with results that are sustainable. In this new environment of increased connectivity and increased interlinkages, the role of leaders is also about galvanizing and bringing together highly diverse entities and providing solutions to problems that have multifaceted dimensions. It is also about managing diverse relationships that are often conflicting. While this is not new, what has changed is the intensity and the scale of the interconnectedness of businesses and the goals that are to be achieved. The management of the global financial crises and its aftermath in the advanced economies have highlighted the importance of this aspect of leadership. How then do we unleash and harness the leadership energy to perform and to be effective in this new and more challenging environment? It lies in the self-hacking of the mind and the heart. We can draw inspiration from the brain training secrets of the Olympic athletes, which starts with the oneself and the ability to tap into in our internal reservoir of strength. Just like the athletes, one can tap into this impressive mental prowess to train the mind to remain focused, eliminate distractions, reduce stress and anxiety and build the stamina needed to achieve optimal performance. In the business of central banking, a business that I have always described as being an unfinished business, 
because there are always new challenges on the horizon, endless demands emerging in an ever-changing and more complex environment, and great expectations that the central bank will provide the solutions the and the necessary actions to resolve the monetary, financial and economic problems that continue to confront our world. In conditions of financial and economic crises, a phenomenon that has become more frequent and in which central banks are at the forefront in its management, the drive is to deliver in the face of great odds, from my experience, has been about having great focus on the results and goals to be achieved and strong conviction on how this might be pursued. The energy begins with having great clarity of the vision and a great sense of purpose on the objective that needs to be achieved and the results that need to be delivered. It is also about mobilizing energies of the organization to be aligned to achieving these results. It is having the ability to generate and ride on the positive cycle of the leadership energy. In the actions pursued towards delivering the outcome and in the achievement of the desired outcomes, it generates a second round of energy bursts from others in the group or in the organization. This continuous positive energy loop provides continuous motivation and momentum that can drive the organization. It is a mutually reinforcing phenomenon that I have experienced in the bank time and again. Let me conclude my remarks. The demands on leadership going forward will be immense. It will require tremendous leadership energy that needs to be also need to be sustainable. This Leadership Energy Summit will hear from successful individuals on the source of their energy in generating outcomes and results that have made a difference. We will also learn about other sources of energy from which we can tap on and strengthen. This is the challenge of the new generation of leaders if they will truly be able to make lasting and meaningful changes in their environment. On this note, let me wish you an enriching and highly energized summit. Thank you.